What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Axe Creation. And on this episode of Interaction, we're going to talk Phrygian mode, uh, how to count meter, and intervals. First question What type of chords work with Phrygian and its Phrygian dominant like harmonic minor? Well, that's a good question. And Phrygian is the third mode of the major scale. And the chord that specifically comes out from the Phrygian mode is a minor seventh chord. But the, the characteristic of Phrygian is that half step above the root or a flat nine. So when you make the minor seven chord or you make a minor nine chord, it's actually a flat nine. So it's a minor seven flat nine, which is the minor flat nine chord. And that could be a little harsh. Yeah. And as far as the Phrygian dominant, that's actually from, it's not like harmonic minor. It actually is harmonic minor. It, uh, it's one of the modes from the harmonic minor scale, the fifth mode of the harmonic minor scale, and when you spell out that chord, you get a dominant chord with a flat nine. So your chord that that modes or scale sounds like is a dominant seven flat nine chord. So you got your tension of your dominant chord, got a little extra tension on the flat nine chord. It's a really nice chord to use. Fun chord, great scale. Next question. Is an augmented fourth the same as a sharp four? Obviously they are the same note, but what is the difference between augmented and sharp. Good question. And uh, nothing. There is no difference between the two. Um, augmenting means you're making something bigger, so you're actually raising the note. And so sharp four is an augmented fourth. It's the same thing. So that we're talking about intervals here. And I know there's some enharmonic things going on, which can be confusing, but it's all about context and what viewpoint you're looking from is what defines whether it's going to be a certain interval, fourth, or fifth, sixth, something like that. But that's what augmented means. It means you're raising it, so sharp four, augmented four, same thing. Next question. Could you show in another video how to count rhythms? I cannot understand or recognize what the time signature, even in very simple songs. I know what quarter notes are, but I have a difficult time how to count six, four, and seven, five. So time signatures can be difficult in the beginning, especially listening to music and you have trying to figure out what it is. But when you're listening to music, you can just listen to the drums. Everybody can usually hear the, just tap the tempo of the song. And once you find that, that's usually quarter notes. And then just listen to the music, listen to the riffs. Not try to count it, but just listen to how many times things repeat. Oh, I hear this every four notes. I hear this every eight notes. And, and listen to the, the overall phrases and then that can help figure out what meter you're in a lot. And as far as counting, say, 6-4, it's the same thing as 4-4. Four, four. You just count the 6 instead of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's it. You're just, you're just counting to a higher number. And 7-5 is not a meter. There's no fraction of 5, right? You either have quarter notes, which are 1 fourth, eighth notes, 1 eighth, 16th notes, 1 16th, stuff like that. You start talking about 7-5, you start talking about some crazy irregular meters and that could be tough but that does it for this edition of interaction keep the, keep your music questions coming um, leave them down below in the comments they're usually answered in the comments or on this video or both so yeah thanks a lot for checking in and as always let me know what you come up with until then i will see you next time thanks a lot